What's going on YouTube? My name is Athena and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege map guide. Today we're going to be going over Clubhouse attacking. So this is a requested video, but hey, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Athena one more time. Um, I am on the DGC for Disrupt Gaming, a community sh uh, streamer and all that. Hopefully one day I can make it to the main roster, but um, if you guys are not already subscribed, we are uh, just hit 1k, it's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead and follow my socials if you guys want to keep up on other Rainbow Six tips, not just one map, but check out all my other videos. I've done all the map guides you can think of. Um, I will. That's what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to get into attacking, defending almost every single map. So, for Clubhouse, let's say, uh, wow, it's been a while since I've uh, played this map. So, Clubhouse attacking. Clubhouse attacking is... A good map for solo queue and for five stacking the reason being is because you can win this map solo um while also um you know playing as a team but right now um i'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of the heartbeat rolls and all that kind of stuff i had a claim right there so if as you're running thermite right um if i'm running thermite uh a lot of people don't usually run thermite but if you do run thermite god bless you dude literally god bless you um so you want to put a claymore either on this window this win this window or this doorway right here so that blocks off a lot of the ways for you not to get pinched out but otherwise we're going to be coming here so you know everyone knows you thermite this wall right but you have to do this quick you can't just wait you know 30 seconds left in the round and then blow it up that's not efficient everyone already knows that but your job is to stay here and stay alive. You don't peek stuff. You don't entry anywhere. You're here. You're droning for your team. Um, if you if you are telling game chat, yo, Buck, or someone, can you guys go from below? And now uh, you tell them you will drone them in here. You'll drone them in here. You're like, all right, this is cool. This is cool. So if you're a heart breacher, especially on this map, you want to be droning a lot, a lot, because you sh you you're you're basically you're the support player. Even if you're playing Buck yourself, if you're not even playing a hard breacher, you should still be droning yourself in most of your time. Um, you keep your drone uh, somewhere in bar. Because bar, like like right here, is a very, very important rotation for the defenders. So if you can get them, if we can catch them off guard, like right here, boom. I can already see any vigils, reagers. That way my Buck can go from below and I can check my drone periodic. And he can check it as well. So now we have a good we don't have to have someone watching this now um we can get the wall open so let's say we get the wall open right once we get the wall open if you can get the wall open in like both in less than a minute like you guys are already on the road to success so for winning this round um so you know you know there's gonna be someone rafters you know there's someone possibly could be playing behind this rack uh there's gonna be holes right here and someone's gonna be playing in here right no no defender really sits right here like they don't really this is kind of like no man's land right here unless the attacker is really full commit but most of the time they're gonna be behind this box they're gonna be holding you waiting for the post plant throwing c4s right um so that's where the construction comes in so once you get this breach open you want to have only at least one person on this breach while the other people go for garage control because trying to take control of this when you don't have garage control is really hard because then you get pinched from both sides and it's basically you're gonna get gunned down so if you can get try to get gun control second priority, that's good. Um, attack or uh, attack on these walls right here because that way whoever's sitting on catwalk, um, they would have to worry about that and they get shot from the breach. It's really hard for them to hold catwalk that at the time. Um, otherwise, um, you can have even someone come blow this wall up. If you can have a thermite or a hibana blow up this wall, then it's literally like you guys win the round. You guys should not be able to win those, lose those ones. Just watch for flanks, keep droning efficiently, and get that plant down. Remember, do not be do not be scared. The defenders are as scared as you are. And if anything, you got that's why you gotta have confidence. You have the confidence in yourself. You can swing. Don't be afraid, dude. Like literally, come and swing in. Boom, pretty far. You have so much map control right here. Um, if you guys take out the guy garage, get that freaking plant down, dude. Just watch for you know common spots. Um, if you remember, you guys are gonna die a lot. You guys are gonna have to try this a lot. That's what makes practice makes perfect. But that's basically how you attack server. Um, we can take away from that is one, get the harp, get the wall open. Two, find out where the defenders are, which is pretty easy. Um, three, close out locations where they can be. Take control, take control garage after you get the breach open. Take control construction. Roam clear. 
do all you can do literally so much you can do so the second one we're going to go with uh, Hebana just because she's versatile but we're going to be attacking church and arsenal now so church and arsenal is very uh it's hard to solo on this on this um you guys have to have good communication and uh roam clearing is 100 percent you have to do that on this unless you are very confident um in playing and getting ready for those flanks you know it's really up to how your the other team is playing as well so as habana um you're the same role almost as thermite but thermite if you ever play thermite on almost any map you are just the hard support you shouldn't be running and gunning unless you kind of have to uh you have to be really situational about it but as habana you usually want to spawn over there or um uh, construction so you most of the time you were the one that gets the hatches the reason being you don't get dirt you don't get anything else because most of the time you're gonna have two hard richers if you only bring a thermite that's really risky because there's so much oh, thermite can open you can open up dirt you can open up the three hatches and there's that wall there's the church wall um, i'll show you guys later but usually you want to have thermite open this uh this wall dirt up open like immediately like right when he spawns in he opens that up you are joining yourself in to either kitch getting kitchen open first or you're getting stock uh there might be defender in stock in this room so always ha have this under your control be careful because that defenders can see your feet from here they can see it from there but otherwise you want to pop this out as soon as you can so that's one head but habana pellet right um before you do any of that you got to join yourself in right so joining yourself in once you join yourself in a stock and to lounge you like all right lounge you all that clear you want to set up your drone for a flank drone. You can either continue droning for your teammate, but Thermite should be already doing that. But you can do that as well. Or you can leave a flank drone like, all right, now I can efficiently attack stock while having a cam and knowing that I'm safe. I can see whoever's flanking me, you know? Always have your drone in position um, after you're done droning and just uh, always play off of it. Constantly, periodically check your drone because that's where flanks can happen. And... Uh, if it if it becomes a pattern, if you keep dying in the same person, in the same route every single game to different players, that means you're not you're not predicting the enemy hard enough, and that's what makes a lot of people stay in the ranks. Um, the second hatch you're gonna open up is kitchen hatch. Um, after that, you, you remember you're so you're so joining yourself in to uh, upstairs, make sure upstairs is clear. Um, at, at this time, you're probably getting all the rumors cleared out. Um, have drones pre-placed all over and like everywhere, man. Just always have intel, intel, intel. So you get this open, but let's say if you're the only hard breach, right? And you have a Hibana, let's say Thermite gets spawn peak, right? Your main priority is to only get two hatches open um, or one hatch open. And then after that, you can make your whole, yourself a hole into church. Uh, once you make your hole, into, like, uh, like right here is pretty good, right? Because once you get this open, then you can start getting the plant down. But remember, there are like, it's really like game sense and knowing where the enemies are and just when your gun buys at the end of the day but once you clear out all those hatches you get the roam clear down you cl you're supposed to be joining up top and just get get used to doing a single route but knowing how to uh adapt to other roamers and players but you should ba basically know get the hatches open and then push down to this, the, the bomb site you can even push down blue or you can push on main stairs. Main stairs is a lot easier sometimes, in my opinion. Um, otherwise, clear up moto. You know, you clear up moto. You watch boxes, watch for all this kind of stuff, and you just go in. You plant behind chairs and all that. It's, it's all about knowing where the defenders are and getting those early picks as much as. You, once you get those picks, then you have numbers, and it's a lot easier for you to uh, execute on a bomb site. So that's basically how I attack clubhouse. I do it a lot, and it works out. A if you as long as you have good communication but you know uh defender side of the map ish a little bit but it's all about how you play at the end of the day and it gets a lot easier which is just play 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 you will get you good you will get good at it um i'm gonna go over one last site i'm not gonna go over bar and stock room because <laughs> let's be honest who's gonna defend that unless like most of the time if you are defending that you should have a team set up for that already but we're going to be going uh gym and bedroom so gym and bedroom is very attacker sided in my opinion it can be defender sided but it's really at the end of the day who which team is more coordinated um but it is ranked you know people can run and gun um right off the bat a big mistake is sitting on the windows way too long and kind of baiting your teammates sitting on the windows way too long is going to get you killed because then 
the longer you stay out there, the 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 long uh, the more the defenders will know that you are out there, and you're gonna get spawn killed, or you're gonna get peeked out of a window. And you'll be like, oh man, timing, blah blah blah. You know, that's not timing. It's just you being in a bad position. You're not capitalizing at all on it. So, in my opinion, you should have at least two hard breachers, a Thatcher, no man, all that kind of flex sauce stuff. So thermite, um, it really depends because. I always spawn warehouse, by the way. Um, getting CCTV control for gym and bedroom is very, very important, uh, especially when you have um, a coordinated team. Just because if you can get this wall open, yeah, you, if it's soft, you can ask a buck or someone uses, uses a, uh, a breach. But my first time, uh, I use this every time and it almost works every time. You go in here, or uh, you open this up, you drone out garage, you drone out red stairs, and you drone out uh, this room. And you draw the green room or the cash room. Once you know that's clear, then you make your way inside. You come in here, you sit behind this rack, and then you join yourself one more time. Now it depends what operator you are. Use your utility to uh, like literally almost everyone's utility will work. There's soft walls, there's doorways, there's the nape people behind. It's just it's super easy, guys. Like it's really easy. Um, the second one for our thermite to play or for anyone to attack from is. Um, maybe you have once you have CCTV control, then you get then it's safe to have someone on the windows. That way, because windows have direct line into sight, and it's just a lot easier to uh, pressure the enemies. Um, whoever's playing on the windows, you shouldn't be peeking. You shouldn't be holding angles on a window too long, more than like ten seconds, because then people will. It's a lot easier for the defenders to know where you are. Oh, what the heck, dude? <laughs> Yo, someone got beat up here. Anyways, um, but uh, you got jacuzzi wall open. So let's say it's bandited or it's, um, you know, there's there's someone denying the wall. There's a drone hole right here. Literally infinite possibilities. If you can't throw, if you can't burn the ADS, Thermite should have flashes. Have someone with a nade, have a Thatcher come with you, have a Maverick, do anything. If you can't, then literally do the easy way. Open up this window and literally shoot them from here. You have to have that coordination. You have to have the coordination. Like, no matter what operator you're playing, in the first few, like, seconds of the round you'll always have to help do what you can like try to confirm that the walls are getting opened if not if you're kind of just doing your own thing you're, you're just expecting thermites to open the wall sometimes it might need your help sometimes no one's helping them so why you always have to quote unquote be a support player you always need to make sure things are going the right what the right way that's what a lot of people do in solo queue or any kind of other stuff they expect people to know stuff like especially like if you're playing with good players, obviously you should rely on them to do, like, you know, smart stuff. But if you're solo queuing, you can't always rely on the Thermite to stay alive to get those walls open. That's why you always have to communicate with the teammates, do whatever you can to win. Um, on this site, literally just, I wouldn't even worry about getting plants down. I mean, plants on, yeah, but this is going to be open most of the time. And it's kind of just getting frags at the end. Um, at the end of the day, it is all about whoever the better team is, better coordination. Um, and you have the power to do that. You have the power to call out in game. You have the power to make that that call that wins you the round. That call of yo, Jaeger's flanking could possibly or you know, let's get this plant down. Those two stuff could really change up the game. If Jaeger kill off the thermite, then you would never get the wall open. Or if you never kill the Jaeger flanking you, that's you just killed the guy that could have protected the planter. He would have won that guy. You know, there's just so infinite possibilities. That's why I love Siege so much. Um, so yeah, that's basically my defense for Clubhouse. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please share with the video. Uh, for anyone who needs to hear this, I make videos every damn day, dude. Every day. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Um, if you guys want another map, any kind of map you guys want, um, either I've already uploaded it on defending or attacking, or comment below if I haven't already. Check out my videos. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys will learn from them, whether you're silver gold diamond maybe a little bit <laughs> you know but hey keep a positive mindset boys stay optimistic and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace